Hello lovely people of the internet, how are we doing today? <laughs> um, I just kind of wanted to play with makeup today, um, so I thought, yeah, why not, I might as well film it, because I have nothing else to do, um, because I really just wanted to play with red eyeshadow today, I don't know why, I think I was just sat on the car yesterday at mum and I was just there, so I'd, I really want to play with red, <laughs> red is, I mean, it is my favorite colour, yeah, I've already done my face, um, so you, yeah, no, you won't see the full face, but you'll see another video about something. The two palettes I'm going to use is the Morphe 35O palette. This is like one of the OG ones. Um, and the Smashbox Ablaze Eye palette. This was one of those, the um, little ones that they had had. And I want to play with eyeshadow. This is, this is pretty much what I do anyway. Um, yeah, you can, right, can you see that? Yeah, you can see some colours. Oh, there you go. Right, you can see some colours in this are really love, especially these ones here. Like, they're really, really love. Like, they're my favourite ones in this entire palette. I haven't really used the other ones, but I'm going to use, by the way, that white one there just to set my lid. I'm just using my big powder brush because it's just easier for me, personally. And I'm just lazy to go get another brush. So I'm just going to set it because I don't... Because it is really warm. And I've already put... I don't have an eye primer, I just kind of run my concealer over my eyes while I'm putting in my concealer so that was as my base really. I just need to set that down. Basically what I thought I would do is that one, run that in my crease and then kind of build up from there with that shade and that shade. Um, and I'm gonna kind of dip into this um, at some point. And pretty much, I'm, it's honestly it's really sunny and I'm filming at my window, so it's not really the best place to show eyeshadow and all of that. Yeah, so and then just kind of go into that really pretty one there. But we'll see what happens, really. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, with a fluffy brush, take that orange shade. I'm using that as my transition colour. And I'm wearing a white dress, and I've already got so much makeup on it. Which isn't necessarily the best thing in the world, but you know, it's... It, it's fine it's okay we'll go with it so i'm just gonna take that and run it in my crease yeah i kind of brought it in down the side a little bit um just because i mean i was done to do that just to so kind of you know get it rounded um and i'm just kind of flicking it out the tiniest bit not that it's necessarily going to do anything um, but when you lay out colors you'll see what i mean actually i'm going to mix these two shades here um, as my other colour, my first actual colour, like right under there, so like right in the eye socket, right there, pretty much. I'm going to use the same brush because I still want it to be really blown out and really, you know, light and... It's not even a light, it's, a, it's, a, it's red eyeshadow, or burnt orange rather. I'm just going to go into the slightly darker red shade actually a little bit, um, just to give it a little bit of a more red tone as opposed to orange. So I'm going to switch to um, a little, a slightly denser packing brush. It's not even a packing brush. It's just like, um, it's just a tape of blending brush. It's not as fluffy as the other one. I'm going to go into that same Smashbox palette. That little, okay. That little one, I'm just going in with that shade. I'm going to focus it mainly on my outer corner. Um, and then just kind of pack, put most of the, the um, concentrate most of the colour there. And then just kind of blending like whatever's left i'm not going to use a lot of it um because i don't know if i want to put more red in there yet right so i've brought you in really close to my face because there we go you probably couldn't see the eyeshadow that well and i don't know if i like this really this this close to my face but we're gonna go with it Wait, i'm gonna take that but because i want this to be really i want this brick red color to show i'm just gonna take some of it and like really intensify it, especially on the outer corner um, and kind of sweep it up towards my eyebrow yeah that's what that's called also if you hear somebody talking my mom's on the phone to an aunt somewhere I don't know and then oh hi angel good chat so I'm just gonna take that same um, a fluffy brush that yes can I help you Jesus Oh, go away my foot this well. I don't need to be reminded that I eat too much, okay? Anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to take that same fluffy brush and just kind of run it back in the crease, blend everything out, blend, 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 so I don't look all sorts of crazy. If you take it and then just do that and 
put it in your eye in in the crease of your eye right in the socket of your eye and then just tilt it up slightly and then you blend that way it kind of buffs everything out on your lash on your um crease without having to go in and do it all over um i've left a little bit because i think i am actually gonna put the tiniest bit of some sort of shimmer and i'm gonna use actually from this i'm gonna use that one right there i'm just gonna put it on my ring finger and just the tiniest little bit right there mm. yeah like so and then just buff out that edge really quickly yeah like that pretty much all right being real age with you i use lip liners as eyeliners and, eye and eyeliners as lip liners being perfectly honest i do <laughs> like my blush like that i normally use i will use that as like you know a lip balm lip gloss even eyeshadow just because makeup is set as one thing doesn't mean you can't use it as something else like i'll use you know i use my bronzer as my eyeshadow sometimes so you know it's it's fine there are no rules in makeup besides blend i'm gonna use this la girl um lip liner in the shade maroon and run that on my bottom waterline and then i'm gonna take a black liner and line my top line because i don't want my lashes to look like i've got a random line on them then i'm gonna take a tiny little um highlight brush which i if i can get it jesus christ um and i'm gonna take that same color that i put on my lid and run it in my inner corner right here I like quite a bright inner corner, so I'm just gonna, you know, go in. What I think I might do actually is, so this shade at the top here, I'm gonna take that and go over it. Because I want it to be a little bit brighter. There we go, look at that. Happy days. Do I want to do liner? Do I want to do liner? Yes, we're gonna do a winged eyeliner today. Actually, no way. I need to blend up my bottom line. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is take that same red shade on um, a little detailer brush and just um, pack it on my lash line. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same fluffy brush. Oh hi. Oh, there we go. And from the Morphe palette, the one that same first transition shade, I'm gonna use that and mix it a little bit of the top one and blend it out. Um, on right because I can't, I can't be able to go for another brush. Um, I'm just gonna kind of like squeeze it so it gets a little bit, instead of being like that, it gets a little bit thin, I just kind of buff out the bottom, that red on there. Um, and don't be afraid to go low with your, with your, um, with your eyeshadow, honestly. The lower the better, I say. Yeah, kind of like, so, yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit more red in my waterline. Um, because I feel like the gold blending has kind of taken away some of the intensity a little bit. Do I want to do a winged eyeliner? Do I want to do a winged eyeliner? Do I want to be risking my life today? Yes, is the answer to that. We're going to do a winged eyeliner. <laughs> so I'm going to use the NYX um, Epic Epic Ink Liner um, in the shade black to do this. Um, I'm going to... Hopefully I don't mess up this. <laughs> right, so that didn't turn out too bad. I'm just gonna knock wood that I don't mess up the other one after that. Um, I always bring my eyeliner, I say always, about 90% of the time, I will bring my eyeliner in and make a little cat eye only because I've got big round brown eyes um, and I love them, I really do. Sometimes I just do want a little bit of a sleeker eye, but you know, you don't have to do that. I'm just gonna put on some mascara. I'm gonna use a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Right, so I'm gonna do my other eye off camera, um, yeah, and then we'll come back. Right, so I did the other one. I'm actually really in love with this look, with this eye right now. I mean, my lips are giving me major chola vibes. Like, real big, but it's fine, I like it. I'm not really happy with how this turned out. I mean, I just took my hair down because I can be extra, and I am, anybody who knows me knows that I'm like super extra all the time we're not I mean I hope you liked it I mean if you want to go try it try it and let me know how it goes 
you want to do your own thing. I mean, once we're all getting creative in this very slightly mind-numbing time i think we've all run we've already read 15 books learned two languages learned to make bread and um grand patissier and all of that so what else can we do besides learn to be more creative and this is pretty much what you know what this was i just wanted to play see what can happen proven that i can actually do a cat eye properly and not mess it up so you know i'm i'm happy with that but and i hope you like it and remember to Oh, I'm gonna be really cheesy right now. Wow, I'm being really basic, but it's fine. If you like it, like it, share it, comments on it. You know, give it to your grand to watch if she even if, if she doesn't understand what's what's happening. That's I'm okay with that. If you just have it on in the background while they're actually doing something you care about, maybe anything really. But yeah, hope you like it, and I will see you in the next one, angels.